Hello and welcome back to another video. Once again, we are facing Zimbabwe, this time away in Harare in the National Sports Stadium in Zimbabwe. The players have made their way on their special Air Algeri flight. They took off from Algiers, they took a little stop in Cameroon and then they flew to Zimbabwe and they have arrived safely in the country which is very close to the bottom of the world. It's near South Africa so it's a long old journey for those players. Covid restrictions still in place, everyone wearing their masks on board so that's good to see. So everything is being done fairly and squarely. Zimbabwe versus Algeria on Monday the 16th of November but it is an afternoon kickoff. So the game is being played in the daytime. It looks like it's going to be a 1 pm, maybe even a 2 pm kickoff. So unfortunately, we're not going to have one of those evening games. A lot of people are going to miss the game. Uh, people maybe living in America, for example, are going to have to wake up very early if they want to watch the game. But when games are played in sub Saharan Africa, they do seem to prefer playing the games in the daytime. I don't know why. Um, the hot temperatures do make it more difficult for the North African teams because the sub-Saharan teams are used to the hot climates. So it's going to be quite warm. Even though it's November time, it should be quite warm during the game. So our players are going to have to cope with that. I think that's perhaps why you saw Mares brought off in the first game. You saw Guidior arrested. Um, you also saw Ben Lamry arrested. These are key warriors. and You need these warrior type players when you have these sorts of fixtures. So they're going to be key. And let's look at a predicted lineup. So I expect Ben Lamry and Gudiora to be back in the starting lineup. Uh, Rice and Bolhi in goal, Halamia at right back, Ben Lamry and Mandy should be the central defensive partnership, and Ben Sabani looks fit enough to play left back. A midfield three of Gudiora, Benassa, and Faguli. Mara's on the right, Bruno Jah up front, who both scored against Zimbabwe last time out, and Brahimi, who didn't score, I think will keep his place over Ben Rahma on the left hand side. Now, Algeria are currently on a 21 unbeaten game run that's got to be a record for the national team 21 games unbeaten that's incredible and that has to be one of the longest unbeaten runs in world football that is amazing um it's going to be a tougher game than the home game i think again with the climate zimbabwe players used to the stadium and the terrain and the levels of the grass and stuff like that a lot of the zimbabwean players play in the area of the world play in south africa of course billy out plays in south africa he's going to be a threat, so is Masana, so is Kadawere. Kadawere scored in Algiers, he's looking to score again in Zimbabwe, but this could be a key game for us because if we pick up just the draw, then Algeria have secured their place at AFCON 2021 being played in 2022. So a point is all we need to qualify, and then we've got the job done with two games to spare. A draw or a win will be enough to see Algeria at consecutive AFCONs and once again looking to defend their title in Cameroon in a couple of years time. So that's the aim to get quali qualification done. Hopefully we don't lose because we want to keep the momentum going, keep the unbeaten run going. Let's make it 22 games unbeaten. But it will be probably the toughest game of the group so far. We've already been to Botswana and beaten them last year thanks to that Bilele goal. Going to be a little bit tougher this time. Uh, the game will be on BN Sports once again, not sure if Algerian television. Now, I think it's likely that we're going to have less possession of the ball. I think Zimbabwe will have a little bit more of the ball. We're going to see a lot of flying tackles. They're good. Hopefully not so much from Guardiola getting sent off again. Um, he does love a yellow card, but it's going to be a very physical game, I think. Lots of physical battles. I hope Brahim is going to be up to it on that left-hand side. But we've got a good team. We've got a solid team. And I think draw or win. I don't think we'll lose. I, it could be a draw. It could be a 1-1 draw. Or we might win the game 2-1 or 3-1 but as long as we don't lose I'm happy with that I'm happy to not lose of course it's nice if we win Bunajah now the 10th highest scorer in Algerian football history so he's got records he wants to chase Mahrez is also in that top 10 so they're looking to chase some records but I think it'll be a close game I think maybe a 1-1 draw or 2-1 to Algeria hopefully it's going to be another great encounter the first game was great fun to watch there's going to be no fans inside the stadium once again if CAF say if you do try and sneak fans in you get a 2-0 loss so hopefully no supporters will be entering the stadium. It is quite a big stadium and it has a running track around it. So it's going to be quite a big pitch. But that's the same as the 5th July Stadium, isn't it? So that shouldn't be too much of a difference. But yeah, we just get the point or a win and we've qualified for AFCON. And we can maybe even experiment some players in the final two AFCON qualifiers and look ahead and focus on the World Cup games. But this is actually Algeria's final game of 2020. There haven't been many games up there. We've barely seen any games because of the, the coronavirus situation. We had the two friendlies last month, the two African, African Cup qualifiers this month, meant to be AFCON very soon, but unfortunately that's not happening. But we've got to be aware of the threat of Kadawere and Biliat, because going forward, Zimbabwe were a threat in that first game, and Bolli had to make that save, and then they had that header that went very close in the first 20 minutes. I know their goal was offside, 
but still they got in some good attacking positions. So we need to be careful, we need to be wary. I think this is going to be a good game for Bunaja. A lot of strong physical challenges. We may see a lot of crosses into the box and a lot of headers. Um, we scored a header in the last game through for Gooley, so it's going to be a tough game. That's what I think the lineup's going to be. Halemia might be a bit of a problem, but I still think he'll play over Beniada. Of course, we are missing Atal and Zafan, who are both injured. Um, Atal does. He's unfortunately got coronavirus, but he is a little bit injury prone as well. So we do need a good backup option. So Fan played very well at the last AFCOM in the semi-finals and the final and we won the tournament. But unfortunately, he's also injured as well. So we're going to have to trust Halimir to do the job he plays in the Belgian First Division. But guys, what are your score predictions down below and what are your predicted lineups? Um, hopefully another good game. Good luck to both sides. Can we do the double overs in Barbway? It will certainly be a much tougher game. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all the support and all the subscriptions. Uh, keep subscribing, keep liking. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.